Hi guys, right, we're back this time with an Astra, 2008 Astra VXR with a 2 litre LEH engine. The problem with this one is that the air flow meter has failed um, and the result of this is that the car doesn't idle properly. Um, also, I've got an, an AFR meter in the car and it's reading a rich mixture to what it's supposed to be. Uh, this is normal because the engine will compensate by putting more fuel um, through to be on the safe side. Um, the, the danger is that if it runs lean there's a problem so as it doesn't know how much air fuel is, uh, the, what the air fuel mixture is, it, um, it airs on the side of caution and puts more fuel in. So it's running rich, um, sometimes it stalls. Also the warning lights on the dash you'll find that the traction control light will be on and also the spanner icon may or may not be on. Uh, mine was for a while and then it went out, um, but the fault code uh, still remains, so uh, I know that it's the airflow meter. Um, so looking under the bonnet here, yours might look a little bit different to this. Um, the uh, induction kit that I have um, might not be exactly the same as yours. However, um, regardless of what you have, the uh, airflow meter is normally the same uh, unless it's highly modified car so this is the airflow meter here an electrical connector to come off here and then there's um, a jubilee clip uh, eight millimeter i think maybe six maybe seven actually uh, i'll tell you in a moment um jubilee clip there and one underneath there holding my air filter on so this part needs to come out so simply under the jubilee clip under the jubilee clip and uh, we'll pull this out and take a look. Okay, it is a seven millimeter, so we just need to loosen this off. So the clip's loose. And then, in my case, I can just pull that straight out. So, to get this electrical connector off, you simply just squeeze the clip towards the body of the connector and it should pull off like that. Now, in my case, this is still connected to the air filter, so I also need to remove the second Jubilee clip there. So, I'll do that now. Okay, so I've loosened that off and as you can see, this can just pull out. So that's it, that's the whole strip down for that. This is the faulty airflow sensor. Now what can happen with these, you can see, you may be able to see it's a little bit dirty inside. Um, what happens with these is the, obviously the air's flowing past here and dust gets stuck to the sensor inside. So. I've already tried this and it's it's not the case with mine, but um, what you can do is get some uh, carburetor cleaner or brake cleaner and just spray it into the element in the centre there. Um, and that may just sort out the problem if you're seeing that fault code on your car, it's worth a go first. But I've already done that with this and uh, determined that it is a faulty unit, so I'm going to swap it out. So this is my replacement unit, for those of you who want to see the part number on there and this is uh, just a direct replacement and these are just protective caps on the ends And as you can see, it's just the same as the other one. So I'll go ahead and get this fitted. So refitting this is just a reverse of what we did before. Um, the only thing to be concerned about is that you get this the right way around. They are slightly different sizes, uh, the inlet and the outlet, but um, it does have to be the right way around for it to work properly. And that is denoted by this arrow here. Hopefully you can see that. 
and this arrow shows the direction of airflow through the unit so in my case from the air filter into the engine so just make sure that you've got that arrow the correct way around okay so i've just pushed the new airflow meter into here and tightened up the jubilee clip and now this one just goes back into the inlet pipe like i say yours may look different depending on what you've got installed but the principle is the same last thing to do is to connect up the wiring harness again that just pushes on okay and that's it that is the airflow meter replaced Simple video, I know, um, not much to it, but it may help someone out. I did a quick search on YouTube and uh, couldn't see this exact model with this exact car. So um, I'm hoping this might help someone out. Just gonna tighten up this clip. And job's done. Um, so I'm gonna start it up now and hopefully those uh, zero lights would have cleared. Just thought I'd add on the end there, I did mention that you can clean these by um, putting some carburetor cleaner or brake cleaner in it. Um, this is this is my old one and as I said I, I did already try and give it a clean but um, just to show you what I was talking about, it's the element is, is buried in the centre there, there's a little uh, opening in the plastic, um, not sure what you can see there. But the centre is inside there so the advice is just um, I've just got some regular uh, carburetor cleaner here, and I just squirted it just in the hole there. Let it dry, and then give it a try. Um, you know, sometimes 50% of the time it is just muck and dust that's collected on the sensor, so giving it a quick clean um, might just sort the problem out. Um, if not, replacement units. Okay.